Hey guys, one of my New Year's resolutions was to do more videos. Then promptly, the first of the year, I got COVID. So I was down and out for about 10 days. Now, all my symptoms were mild. It was not that big a deal, but I didn't feel like I should go out and I certainly wasn't able to do any videos. So I have a bunch of videos that I'm ready to do. They're all over the floor here. You can't see them, but I've got some guns over here I'm gonna film and some guns over here I'm gonna film. So all that is to say, I'm behind schedule on videos and thank you for your patience. You know, I got that there, I think it's called the Abercrombie variation and uh, that Abercrombie really puts you on your butt. Uh, if, if Speaking of Abercrombie, did you guys know that they actually sold Lugers. By the way, I do know it's Omicron and I know you guys like to tell me I pronounced it wrong, but I, I'm just having fun. But anyway, um, one of the things I like to do on my videos is to teach you something new. And so many of you say, I learned something new. Abercrombie and Finch, there is a Luger variation. They're actually were a retailer out of New York and they still are. By the way, they sell apparel. Uh, they, they got into a big controversy some years ago for using anorexic girls in their ads. Uh, said it uh, was a bad role model for uh, teenage girls, and of course it is. Uh, they've stopped doing that. But anyway, they're a retailer, and back in the day, back in the 20s and 30s, just like A.F. Stoger sold some Lugers, it's actually very rare to find one of these. We'll call it A&F. Uh, an A&F uh, marked Luger. Uh, and again, they didn't make the Luger. They were made by DWM in the 20s and 30s and sold through uh, the outlet of Abercrombie and Fitch. So there's just a factoid, a little factoid you probably didn't know. Now, let me show you a gun I'll bet you've never seen before. And again, outside my wheelhouse, but if you take a look, this is a Nighthawk Custom. So these are custom 1911s. Uh, we have customers that order them. It's not something that we uh, particularly would carry in stock or even have on our website, but we do provide the transfer uh, service to some of our local customers. And that's the case with this one. But I had to show it to you because it is so special. Uh, let me know if you've ever heard of the Nighthawk, by the way. It is a very well handmade gun. Um, you know, the specifications, I've never shot one, but people tell me they're smooth as uh, silk, um, very reliable, and just a phenomenal gun. Uh, I'll have to get me one along with my Amber Crombie. Um, but uh, this one is uh, gold plated. Uh, well, uh, come a little closer. You know, I should probably get a royalty or at least a sponsorship from uh, Nighthawk. If you work for the company, get in touch. Uh, you can see the sights. Uh, they, I, I, I'm pretty sure that those are, uh, yeah, they glow in the dark. It's actually, I can see the red dot. Um, beautiful sights, uh, gold plated. Uh, there's their logo. And uh, what I especially like on this is the uh, grips. Now what I'm told and what I've read about this and the reason our customer wanted it, this is a woolly mammoth molar. So a mammoth molar, I guess we could call it a mammal grip. Uh, they t uh, Evidently, uh, they only could get so many out of a molar, but they would slice it down. This has been polished up, but that's a woolly mammoth molar. Uh, and woolly mammoth, that's like uh, 300,000 years ago, up to a million years ago, uh, maybe longer. Um, just a beautiful grip, has a good feel to it. And... Uh, let's see, magazine. This is in 45 caliber, made in good old USA. Uh, 45 caliber, but they also make them in uh, smaller versions. I think the Commando, uh, and also smaller caliber, such as the nine millimeter. So, um, just a beautiful gun. If I had uh, the time and permission, I would take it out and shoot it at the range. But we'll have to rely on Hickok to do that. Uh, but this, I just wanted to show it to you because it's a beautiful gun. As I said, it's passing through my hands. It's going to be out the door in about an hour. Okay, so I already told you about I'm, I'm going to be doing more videos, so you want to like and subscribe. But one other thing that is a New Year's resolution, we are actually going to throw our first legacy party. Now, I've already uh, teased you on that a little bit. It's going to be uh, the weekend of the SOS show. That's the Louisville show. SOS, uh, you can see here's their website. It stands for Show of Shows. Uh, it's our best show of the year, and there's thousands of collectors that will come in for that show. In fact, uh, hotel rooms all around there are all sold out. You might have to stay a little further away, but if you're planning on going or thinking about going, it helps to be a member because you can get in early, but you can see here's the dates in February. Uh, but on the weekend, it is open to the public. Friday uh, and Saturday, it's open to the public. Uh, but if you're a member, you can get in, I think, Thursday around noon. 
And Friday night, Legacy is going to be doing a Legacy party. You're going to meet the Legacy team. I'm going to bring along some exclusive guns uh, that we've done videos on. So you can come and see those. You'll wear white gloves and be able to pick them up, get your picture taken with some of them. And also, uh, we're going to have food and beverage. So here's what I'd like for you to do. If you're thinking about coming, we have room for about 100 people, but we can get more room if we need it. If you're interested in information, just let us know. I'm interested in the party. It's like, uh, instead of saying, I like like free stuff, we'll just try. I'm interested in the party. We'll send you a, a flyer about it, uh, information and how you can uh, pay in advance. It's uh, $20 a person just to help cover uh, the food and drink. Um, but if you're interested in coming, just say I'm interested in the party and we will send you the information. Hopefully, many of you will be able to join us because you're coming anyway. And if you're sitting on the fence, come and join us. Uh, we're going to have a lot of the European visitors there as well.